Hey everybody, what's up? Alpha here. I'm gonna do a review on a new episode of Kekai Sensen, in other words, Blood Blockade Battlefront, episode 4. Now, this episode right here, it actually came out pretty well, you know? So, if anything else, let's get started. Okay, at the beginning, we see to it that our buddy Leonardo's hanging out with Claus and Zap, and after a little small talk, he says something about seeing something blood red, and it surprised the entire party, you know? Everyone together, and therefore, Zap tells him that he might have saw a vampire with his eyes or something, you know? And, therefore, Claus ends up explaining everything to Leonardo or what's up, but later on he ends up saying, like, um, is this supposed to be real or something? But, pretty much it is. After, after a couple minutes, we see to it that we have another character that's pretty much a major expert and... Some someone that Zap respects to a lot, like he's like some vampire hunter or expert kind of guy, you know. And after coming over, um, has a little small talk with um, Claus and Zap, you know. After picking up Leonardo after a cup after a certain accident, which which resulted with the glass coming to Zap's forehead and a and a piece of metal knocking out um, Leonardo unconscious. He asks Leonardo to use his eyes to take a look at something, you know? And that's a severed hand. And therefore, when Leonardo, Leonardo did it, it seems like his eyes were so much in pain that he has to be wearing goggles. And then he ends up ends up going with <coughs> them somewhere to a certain place. And therefore, we see to it that Leonardo ends up having to use his eyes again. And this time, he actually found something, but his eyes end up being bloody red. Maybe he used it way too hard, and he says that there's a bunch of vampires down there that's about to cause some trouble. And it switched. It goes to a scene where there's the there's one female and male ready to take take on these vampire people. And so far, to it, things like um, got a lot hectic between them because they somehow got defeated. But Claus tells Leonardo that you know the weaknesses, etc. So you gotta let us know what's up. You know that kind of thing. And therefore, we see to it that our buddy, um, Leonardo might have told him here and there, and Zap's on his way to probably help out, but it was actually too late. So, after the episode, we see to it that our buddy, um, Claus comes in and defeats those two vampires whatsoever, I believe, and then <coughs> knocks him out. And after that, we see to it that nothing much is going on, but all I know is, like, Leonardo says, like, I'm facing these guys is going to be pretty crazy, but there's always a difference between one and the other. And later on, um, we see to it that it ends up with Leonardo talking to White, the girl, and by that time, it ends off with a strange old, cl strange old cliffhanger whatsoever, but yeah. Nothing much going on, you know, just a uh, severed hand, having to analyze it, going up against vampires as usual, so that's about it. Anyways, this episode came out okay. Um, expect my next review to be well triggered, and hopefully after that, Gunslinger Straddles. I'll see y'all till then. I'm Aqua Zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace out. Bye-bye.